Hello store owners and welcome to this week video. I just want to show you something simple and quick which is how to do a test transaction on your Shopify store. Most probably this is useful for you if you just created your store and you want to test how a purchase will, will be and how the flow uh, will look like. So let's go right away in your admin panel. Let's assume this is a new store. Um, you will have to go in your admin panel, go into settings, payments. I do recommend you to use Shopify payments. Um, you have a simple way in, in, in here to, do, uh, to use it in a test mode. I'm gonna show you that in a few seconds. Uh, but if you don't have access to Shopify payments, because at the moment, Shopify payment, it's only available in, in the United States, Canada, UK, and Australia. Uh, so please double check uh, this page later on. I'm gonna link it in the description also. If you can and want to use uh, the Shopify payments and how to do a test with the Shopify payments let's go back to our payments if you're not able to use the shopify payments just go and scroll below at manual payments what you want to do here is activate the manual payment and let's go for cash and delivery payment instruction yes you can leave test mode method there i don't know if i put it myself or it was there uh, but you can always mention it uh, that this is just the test method so you can copy paste in, in, in both. Let's reactivate it or activate it in your case. So now I have cash on delivery. Let's go and simulate a purchase. So I'm adding this to my cart. So I have one, I can do checkout. I have an account here, so let me just log in. It's going to go a little bit quicker. Perfect. So I'm ready to select the payment method. You have your credit card because my Shopify payment is active. But in your case, you want to select the COD, which we specified it's a test method. So let's just do complete order. And voila, so that's a successful test method for, um, for, your, um, for your Shopify store. You should now receive your, your, your emails, your notifications, and in the admin panel, you will be, uh, you should see your uh, orders that 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 um i suggest you to always uh refund them um after you do a test uh, especially if you do cod um because it may uh shopify may actually charge you fees for that um so after you did your order you should just refund it um so don't don't mark as paid let's go over here and cancel order and you can specify we can specify order and that's about it okay so we cancel that let's go back to payments and do it with uh, the shopify payments so what you need to do in this case is to edit um, I think you can do this before actually activating Shopify payments, uh, but it's best you do activate it and you, you set it up. And then what you can do here is use the test mode. So you can use the test mode. If you click on learn more, um, learn more about testing mode, it will bring you to the same page that, that I had open. Uh, basically it's explain you it, it explains you the process but what you should go and do is go right away to simulate uh, a successful transaction and here you have uh, your list of, of credit card numbers that you can use 
uh, that obviously are fake and it's only for the test so um, just a few requirements the CVV can be any three digits uh, card numbers has to be one of these um, name at least two words first name and last name and the expiry date needs to be something in the future so let me just copy the visa number right here let's go back to our store let's do exactly the same thing add to cart view cart check out again I'm already logged in so I can just go and select my payment method I have credit card oh, I forgot to remove the COD but you should also remove that when you're done with uh, with the testing in order to remove it just click edit and you can do here disactivate and it won't be there anymore we can just refresh this and it's gone so credit card number what you want to do is just paste the number you took from this page name on card put your name expiration date something in the future so 12 20 that will do and the CVV can be any three numbers so do complete and it's processing and everything it's working so this is your second way on how to do a, a full transaction if you go now in in your dashboard you will see the new order what's good about this way of, of, of testing is that Shopify knows that it was a test order because you uh, you, you clicked it that way and you, you specify that it was a test order so you have everything here um, there's no really need to cancel it but you can always cancel it if you want to just restock what you had in, in, in stock uh, if not you can leave it here but you can uh, you can definitely cancel if you don't want it if you don't want to see it there so that's how you test a, a full transaction in Shopify let's go back to settings again you have two options if you don't have access to Shopify payments because you're not in one of uh, these countries you can use just the uh, the COD the cash on delivery you can just select it here activate it and just specify that it's a test or uh, your Shopify payments and obviously when you're done with testing just unclick the test mode and save it so that's it for today if you have any questions please use the comments below you also have in the description my email my uh, Instagram Twitter LinkedIn Skype everything is there for you to get in touch with me uh, don't be shy share your comments I'm always pleased to read those also don't forget to subscribe to the channel I'm releasing videos like this one every week i also have a free css class uh, that it's coming soon i uh, it, it, it's free and i'm gonna teach you how to do certain design changes on uh, on your store yourself and uh, if you need help and my opinion on uh, your website your new website or your old website you can always uh, contact me and I will do a full analyze of your uh, website you can go directly on my website or uh, just click directly on uh, this link right here that's it thank you very much and see you next week